in front for Piervi. He scores! What a goal! A familiar face was back on the ice at Rexall Place Tuesday. Magnus Piervi is with the big club once again. With just three points in 25 games, the smooth skating Swede spent three and a half weeks in the minors working towards regaining his confidence. I'm 20 years old. Uh, was in the press box and that, that doesn't do that whole lot. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, at that time it, it was the best thing for me to just go down and play a lot and just not think too much and just get that rhythm back. On the ice for Magnus, I mean, his speed was just so obvious and seemed like he was really getting his confidence back the last, uh, you know, two weeks or so. And he was really playing excellent hockey and it's, uh, you know, it's no, no surprise he's back up here. With the injury bug stinging the Oilers last week, the club also recalled veteran Gilbert Brule. However, Brule didn't make it through re-entry waivers, getting claimed by the Phoenix Coyotes. I was excited to see Gilbert back in our lineup, and, and I, I like the fact he's a right-hand shot. We've lost Ebbs. We could look him on that power play for the on the 1-3-1 one, one, on, the, on the one side for the shot, and you know, Gilbert's got a great shot. So we were all excited about that and just getting him back here, and he was obviously excited. and. That's just the funny part of the game. So disappointed, yes. Uh, hopeful that he gets a real good opportunity to play in Phoenix for some good people there that I know and get his NHL career going. Following MRIs on Monday, it was made known that Tom Gilbert will likely be out of the lineup until after the All-Star break. Jordan Everly, meanwhile, is only expected to miss a couple of weeks after falling awkwardly and tweaking his right knee on Saturday in Dallas. You know, I just kind of got extended and then with the, with the extra push of the guy's skate, I think kind of my knee just buckled in a bit. So um, I think right away I knew that something was wrong and, uh, you know, I got back to the bench and, and uh, we just wanted to make sure that, you know, we get in the locker room, check it out and then make a decision from there. So um, <clears throat> with the MRI yesterday, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, kind of what I expected. So with the Oilers' top two scorers, Jordan Eberle and Ryan Nugent Hopkins on the shelf for the next few weeks, PRV comes into town with a tremendous opportunity to reestablish himself on the roster. The upbeat winger took his reassignment to the AHL in stride and vowed to make the most of it. And after producing at almost a point per game pace with Oklahoma City, the hope is that the budding offense can translate into renewed success in the NHL. Maybe you got to hit a home run in a Little League park to know what it feels like before you try to swing for the fences in Yankee Stadium. You know, and, and I think what Magnus has done here is he's allowed himself to grow, he's allowed himself to mature, he's allowed himself to have to deal with circumstances and adversity that present you know, a, a need to knuckle down. You, you get perspective on things when, when you go down there and you, you see uh, it is not the, it's not the same, uh, with, as I said, with travels and whatever around it, uh, but it, you, you live, you learn, and uh, I think uh, experience was really good for me. Tom Gazzola, EdmontonOilers.com.